You may be seated. Staff may proceed to their seats. Welcome. Welcome, moms, dads, grandparents, aunts and uncles, friends, members of our Falcon family. Welcome, distinguished guests, Mr. Israel Vela, our superintendent, school board directors, Tim Clark and Joseph Benno. Most importantly, welcome to the class of 2022. Love the enthusiasm. This class deserves it. Thank you for being here today to celebrate this amazing accomplishment. Kent Lake's primary core value is family. And we regularly talk about the importance of the Falcon family. A family doesn't mean you are related by blood. Instead, it is a special bond between people who care about each other, respect each other, and support each other. Students, it is the relationship that you have with each other and our Kent Lake staff that has made us a family for the last four years. Like any family, we've had our ups and downs, and not all of us are here today to celebrate. One prominent member of our class is represented by a bouquet of flowers on a chair. Colin Pritchard lost his battle to Ewing sarcoma in August. You can see our students are wearing yellow ribbons in honor of Colin today. However, we do not grieve his loss, but celebrate the impact he has had on our Falcon family and our community. As a student, Colin always modeled the Falcon core values. And in death, Colin has inspired us to raise awareness and financial support for childhood cancer treatment. He has set the bar high for the type of influence and advocacy we expect from the class of 2022. The class of 22 is a class of activists who marched to eliminate racist behaviors in our community. The class of 2022 brings awareness to the biases that impact our LGBTQ plus community of friends. The class of 2022 raises concerns about gender equity. The class of 2022 advocates loudly and strongly for school safety in our schools. With this advocate mindset, with this activist mindset, comes great responsibility, students. Seniors, you are modeling for our younger generations the values you wish to see in our culture and how you choose to fight for change is just as important as the fundamental rights for which you advocate. 
Don't lose sight of the importance of the journey. It too sends a message. We are proud of this class's dedication to the performing arts. If you are a member of band, orchestra, drama, or theater tech, please stand. Remain standing, please, while I get to talk about nice things about you. Our band is the heart and soul of our school, appearing at every conceivable event, from basketball games to swim meets, to, recognize, uh, to recognition assemblies and more. We are the only pep band that I have ever seen at a cross-country meet and where they cheer on our Falcon family. Our drama students broke in a new director this year with outstanding performances of the Ghost Story Project and Gypsy. Our arts programs integrate themselves into all aspects of our school culture. Please be seated. If you earned credits on the world language test, please stand and remain standing. We are proud of our 16 seniors who earned the seal of biliteracy by showing proficiency in both English and their home language. If you earned your associate's degree, please stand. If you <laughs> Remain standing. If you have participated in an advanced placement class or college in the high school class, please stand. We are proud of the multitude of seniors who have challenged themselves with rigorous coursework, including our 24 students who earned their Associates of Arts degree in addition to their Kent School District diploma. Kent Lake Falcons do not shy away from academic challenges. Instead, they approach challenging classes with energy and confidence. Please be seated. We are proud of the extracurricular accomplishments of this class. If you have participated in a club or activities, please stand and remain standing. We increased the number of clubs this year from four to over 25. Busloads of students remained after school on Thursdays to participate in our Culinary Arts Club, K-Pop Club, Diversity Council, and more. We also saw a post-pandemic revival of our ASL music project as our ASL students shared their sign language skills with our community. Please be seated. Our students showed leadership not only in the classroom, but in the competition fields as well. If you participated in a sport, dance, or cheer, please stand. Over 115 seniors participated in sports while balancing their studies. Both individuals and teams made appearances at state-level competition, including volleyball's return to state competition, individual appearances at cross-country and track, and Falcon Flames' amazing showing at state with third in show, fifth in palm, and seventh in dance. Our athletes have set the bar high with their work ethic, their competitiveness, and their dedication. Our students didn't just play hard, but played with class, representing our Falcon family with pride, integrity, sportsmanship. Please be seated.
Our students spent four years developing their post-secondary plans and are graduating to a variety of different opportunities. I am proud to report that our students will attend over 40 different trade schools, two-year programs, and four-year colleges. We have eight students attending the Transition Outreach Program. We have students who have listed in the Marines and Air Force, attending Firefighter Academy, Academy uh, pursuing their education at Evergreen Beauty College and Avita. And many of our students will receive financial support in the form of scholarships. If you have earned a financial scholarship to an institution, please stand. We are proud of the $515,204 in scholarships earned by our graduates. Congratulations. Please be seated. Graduates, shortly you will have the opportunity to walk across the stage and receive your diploma. It's almost time. As you pick up your diploma, I encourage you to pause. Just take a moment. Take in the magnitude of this event. Think about those individuals who have helped you land in this place today. Remember that a special bond that you have with your Falcon family like a true family, we will always be here to support you. You can always come back home. Congratulations, class of 2022. I am proud of you. Now, I ask that School Board Director Joseph Benno come forward to present the Soames Scholar Award. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Joe Benno, and I'm the Board of Directors. Uh, the Board of Directors of Kent School District is recognizing a School Board Scholar from the graduating class of 2022. The, the scholarship is based on scholastic qualifications, financial need, school improvement, interviews, as well as written essay demonstrating how a college education will benefit this student and society. This year's recipient of a $5,500 scholarship from the Harry B. and Ruby T. Soames Educational Trust Foundation is, do y'all know? Have they told you? No, oh, so it's a surprise. Oh, it's Michael Smith. So Michael Smith, please stand. Congratulations to you and on this amazing award. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone, and good afternoon. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Alex Chopek, and I'm a math teacher. I wanted to start off by thanking the staff and administrators here today. You guys are true rock stars for what you've done. Class of 2022, you did it. You made it. What an honor it is to be nominated as your faculty speaker today. Thank you all so much for giving me the opportunity to close off the year with a bang, or at least try to. As many of you know, there are a few things that will get me going and I will talk for hours about. Those of you that have me in class know that I will talk to you about the latest Marvel movies or the newest drama around Netflix's The Crown. But I think what most people know that I will talk forever about is Harry Potter. I mean, have you seen my classroom? As I was thinking over what to talk with you all about, I thought about all the things that we have been through over the last four years. It has been a roller coaster. I mean, we have seen some crazy things. I think about all of this, and then I think, hmm, how could I relate this to Harry Potter? 
I mean, there's no way, right? Well, guess what? I figured it out. I grew up with the Harry Potter books. The first book came out in 1997. I remember my mom reading them to me and my brothers and then going and seeing the movies on the big screen. I remember going to the midnight book releases and staying up all night to read the next book. I finished the last book in under 12 hours. Yeah, super nerd. But when it ended, I wasn't sure what to do. I didn't have another book to look forward to. It was the end. But the way the book ended got me thinking. 19 years later. That's what the epilogue was titled. What a strange way to end what was most of my childhood. You all started middle school in 2016, 2017. This was my first year teaching as well. Like you, I was super nervous about this new escapade. You guys were not much different than Harry and his friends in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. You were exploring the new world of middle school. You may have come to school like Harry, where you were the first kid to come to middle school and had no idea what it was gonna be like. You could have been like Hermione, who doesn't know what middle school is, but you've done the research to make sure you're ahead of the game. Or you're like Ron, who had older siblings who told you all the awful things that are gonna happen in middle school. At the same time, I was looking at teaching a room full of high schoolers for the very first time. But we got the hang of it. You had to deal with the chess matches of figuring out how to move from class to class. You met new people and were sorted into your friend groups. In eighth grade, you continued your journey just as Harry and his friends did in Chamber of Secrets. You dealt with the petrifying fear of heading into high school next year. You also had to deal with the basilisk. I mean, the raging hormones of being a middle schooler. But you made it through with only a few Phoenix tears being shed. Then you got to high school, freshman year 2018, 2019. This is where things changed. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite book because there are so many twists and turns in the story that leads you to new places and new understanding of the world. This is what freshman year was like. Like Harry and his friends, you were beginning to be able to make your own choices in what classes you wanted, take electives, try new things. There were a lot of twists and turns for you that year. You also started driving, and you could take trips with your friends to Hogsmeade or to the movies. This is also when I got to meet some of you. So just as Harry, Ron, and Hermione met their favorite teacher, Ramus Lupin, you all met your favorite teacher, obviously me. <laughs> the following year was sophomore year. You were no longer freshmen, but you were not quite upperclassmen having to deal with their stuff. Just like Harry, Ron, and Hermione thought that in the Goblet of Fire, they were just going to have to watch their classmates in the Triwizard Tournament, well, it turns out that year was not what we intended on it being. In the midst of the dragons or locked bathrooms due to vandalism, in the, uh, Voldemort returned, and the world was sent into chaos. I mean, COVID happened, and what began as a two-week shutdown turned into a year and a half of no in-person schooling. This is not what you had in mind for how would you be spending your high school career. The next year can be summed up in both the Order of the Phoenix and the Half-Blood Prince. This time, the Wizarding War is ramping up and the young students are having to face challenges they never imagined they would have to face. You also had a tough year. Many of you had to go to work and bring home money for your families. Many of you had to attend class in your cars during lunch break. Some of you slept through class because you were out late working for your families. I know that for myself, that year was so difficult. Every time it seemed that we might get back to normal and that the evil was going away, something resurfaced and reminded us that Voldemort was still out there and that we needed to prepare for the war. As your teachers, it was amazing for us to see your resilience through this hard time to see you trying your best during this time. Now you have made it to senior year, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Just like Harry, Ron, and Hermione were running around the country looking for horcruxes, many of you searched around Washington or around the country to find where you might spend the next stage of life, whether that be college or technical school or work. I loved hearing your stories as you came by my room. It showed me that the war is ending and that maybe, 
just maybe, there's a glimmer of hope at the end of the tunnel. At the end of the year, even though you've all gone out into different areas, such as running start or work or whatever it might be, you have all come back to one place where it all began, just like Harry, Ron, and Hermione returned to Hogwarts for their final battles against the evils of Voldemort. You have returned to end everything and to show the world that COVID cannot stop the class of 2022. So where does that put us? 19 years later. That is where the epilogue takes us. We hear about how Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Jenny all make their way to King's Cross to take their own children to platform nine and three quarters so that they can go to Hogwarts for the first time. I want you to close your eyes and think about yourself right now. Now, what do you imagine you'll be doing in 19 years? If there was an epilogue written about your life right now, at the end of this high school time, what would it say you are doing? Would you be the CEO of a company, a master electrician, an airline pilot, a doctor, a nurse, a teacher, whatever it is? You can open your eyes. This year, it's hard to believe, is my 10-year high school reunion. It was supposed to be this weekend, but as most of you know, my wife and I are waiting for our daughter, so we couldn't fly to Colorado. But I think back to myself as a senior, sitting in the stadium of my high school. I had no idea that today, in 2022, I would be standing in front of one of the best classes I have worked with at Kent Lake, talking to them about how their high school is like Harry Potter, married, let alone waiting for the birth of my firstborn daughter, moving, and finding a new job. It is amazing to think that what happens in our lives, no matter where we come from, we are all graduates of Kent Lake and are going out into the world as Falcons to show them who we are. As Dumbledore told Harry after he learned about the prophecy, it matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. Congratulations and good luck, class of 2022. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kaylin Clayson, and I'm your senior class president. Class of 2022, I cannot believe we're standing here today. We did it. We are finally graduating. It feels like just yesterday we were young and naive freshmen who did not know what the next four years pertained. I want to reflect on what the last four years we spent together looked like. Starting out with freshman year, it feels like just yesterday we were wandering around the school for the first time on our school tour, trying to remember where our classrooms were. We were frantically trying to figure out who we had in our classes, and we were scared because our friends had different classes. We had to meet new people. We were scared of getting lost in Kent Lake because it felt like so much bigger than our middle schools. We were scared of getting bullied by the seniors because the only idea we had of high school was from the movies. But most importantly, we were scared because we were starting the next chapter in our lives. Remember the first football game? We were so excited for our first high school experience, and it lived up to everything we thought it would be. We saw seniors wear fun outfits, chant the strangest things, and boo at us for not being loud enough. Remember the first homecoming. Everyone was frantically trying to figure out what to wear and who to go with. We were so excited to all get dressed up and go to our first real dance. Remember the people you became friends with? The friendships made freshman year were the start of great friendships, bonds that wouldn't be broken. Now it's sophomore year. We grew up so much between freshman and sophomore year. We were growing up. We were a little bit more confident. High school was not so scary anymore, and we were going to make the most of it. My favorite part of sophomore year was how close we were becoming as a class. As we were spending more time together, we were becoming a family. The people we didn't know freshman year were becoming some of our best friends. We were the loudest at football games and assemblies, 
We supported each other in each other's activities and sports. And we laughed with our friends in the halls and in classrooms. Every class even had its own group chat where we all helped each other with homework and classwork. It was easier to hang out with people because people were getting their licenses and we were gaining more freedom. Sophomore year, we came into our own as class of 2022. Being crammed to Kentwood's gym at 272 was my favorite moment of sophomore year and one of my favorite moments in high school. It was so crammed. People were sitting on each other's laps and it felt like 100 degrees in that gym. But no one cared because the memories we made that night were unforgettable. What ma made that night so special was this was the last big event that we were all together before COVID hit. <laughs> At first, COVID didn't seem like anything. Everyone was so excited to get a break from school and get some time to relax. We didn't understand when school ended in March, we wouldn't return for over a year. No one expected the hardships we'd face. No one expected we'd not get to all be together again until senior year. Junior year was the hardest. Class was all online and we hadn't seen people in months. No one turned their cameras on and everyone slept through class. People were not able to connect with each other. It was like we weren't in high school anymore. In April of junior, junior year was the first time we returned to school and it was optional. Half the class stayed online. Returning to in-person school was not the same. Even though we were in person, we still were not getting the high school experience. And connecting with people over years was hard. Finally, after three years we're at senior year, we finally did it. We're the oldest at the school, the leaders, the ones the underclassmen look up to. We went through so much as a class to get to this point. After losing so much of our high school experience, everything is finally going back to normal. Just in time for our senior year. We got to have our senior sunrise, where we all woke up at 5 a.m. to watch the clouds go from light, dark to light. <laughs> we got to cheer on the football team in the front row because it was finally our turn. We got to be back in the classrooms and see our favorite teachers again. We got to have our senior nights and our sports and activities with our friends and family there and present. We got to go through the stress of applying to colleges and our plans for next year all together. We got to see each other's smiles without masks. We got to have prom for the first time in years. We got to reconnect with old friends after so much time apart and make some unforgettable memories. We got to make senior year the best year yet. Today is the last time we'll be together as a class. Some people will stay in touch because the bonds created in the last four years are inseparable. These friendships are lifelong. Some people are ready to move on with their lives and become adults. Some people are gonna, they're moving across the country, excited to meet new people and create new experiences. Either way, we will always reminisce the good memories of high school and each other. Today is the end of this chapter the start of a new chapter. After today, we are starting the future. Some are attending college, some are attending a beauty school, some are trading, attending a trade school, some are joining the military, some are getting jobs. But everyone is going to do great things. We are the class of 2022, and we are the future. I'm so grateful that I get to graduate with every one of you.
Hello everyone, my name is Anwar Ali, and I'm here, I'm here to congratulate the class of 2022. I'm glad to see all your glowing faces after this long and difficult school year. We have had one of the toughest school years, and we were even robbed of our junior year due to COVID. But through it all, we made it. During this year, I had a lot to think about. I had worries about the future and had obstacles that I had to overcome, and yet I'm still facing. I'm not gonna say they all disappeared, but the weight has, uh, has lightened significantly. At first, I thought our senior year was going to be like the rest of our years, but it was far from it. The internal struggles we dealt with on deciding what life is and how to live it will always be a hard one. But I have come to realize we don't have to have those answers right now. We have, had, we have, we have a long time ahead of us, and as long as we enjoy ourselves, there is no wrong way to go about it. This year, I'm glad to have made good relations with my teachers and staff of Ken Lake. They really cared for their students and gave them whatever help they could provide. I know the future of Ken Lake will be in good hands with people like them guiding future students. I also want to give appreciation to all the parents who have supported their, future stu have supported their students. Because of you, we have made it and worked hard to be here today. We live in a world where hard work is rewarded, and this is our reward for 12 years of school. A diploma, a moment, and years worth of experiences and life lessons. I don't want you to worry about the mistakes you made here. As you leave high school, you will also leave behind the person you once were. No longer are you the person who said the wrong answer in class or spilled chocolate milk in their pants. You will flourish in this world. Confucius once said, everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. Do not let others judge the beauty they can't understand. Thank you and congratulations. Falcons, it's time. <laughs> Kent School District Board of Directors and Superintendent Mr. Israel Vela, the students before you have completed their high school journey by meeting the diploma expectations of the Kent School District. It is with pride that I present to you the Kent Lake High School graduating class of 2022. I'm here to just say a simple sentence, but unfortunately, like most things in life, it's not simple. Way back when the state constitution was created, <clears throat> they charged the state legislature with creating a public school system as the paramount duty of the state. That's because they believed in democracy and they knew it required an investment to help the next generation reach their potential. Adults in the stands around you have been paying taxes for a very long time because, not surprisingly, 
the K through 12 school system is the most expensive item in the state budget. That sacrifice is made because we believe in you. You are the future, and we have invested in you. And with that, as an elected board of directors, I accept the graduating class of 2022. We will now present the diplomas. Name readers, please come forward. Ushers. Brady Harjahausen. Samantha Phillips. Dylan Armstrong. Evangeline Bentley. Mason Alcocer. Mercedes Minor. Natalie Morris. Samara McElroy. Cecilia Doty. Tina Tran. Brianna Wilson. Diashimie Anna Marie. Leilani Saludes Aganas. Hunter Clark. Judianne Saludes Aganas. Samantha Schmack. Yeah. Randy Mendoza Munoz. Jaden Michael Newsom. Gershon Gill. Josh Domingo. Jonathan Centerfit. Fatuma Jafar Abdullahi. Yeah. 
Tabitha Beecher. Anwar Ali. Logan Johnson. Quincy Hart. Stephanie Alanis. Alicia Roselle. Grant Miller. Ryan Singer. Miranda Galliet. <laughs> Jeremiah Bynum. Iman Muhammad Awiz. Colton Mead. Francisco Hernandez. Lorencio Dumaging. Ashton Lee. Caitlin Kamek. Ava Jo Schultz. Grecia Martinez. Elijah Lackey. Daniela Limon Aguayo. Carolina Rafael Velazquez. Crystal Morales. Jalen J. Weenie Creek. Jaden Rosario. Giselle Munoz Gonzalez. Michaela MacDaddy Williams. Elizabeth Blessing. Easton Kendall. Daniel Jacob Labonig. Kirsten Futch. Brandon Williams. Samantha Hawker. Cassandra Peretta. Yeah. 
Annalicia Martinez. Chauvin Tron Petra Molina Keck. Angelica Vasquez Ramos. Noah Cabret. <laughs> Mohammed Abdullah Kadir. <laughs> Kayla Sloan. <laughs> Michael Yarmoshik. Zahira Walton. <laughs> Catherine Biswell. Areli Luong Pasai. Michaela Carr. Justin Jose Reyes Alcocer. Tatum Burton. Uriel Vargas Salgado. Colin Eversoul. Yeah. Aubrey Jones. Yeah. Kyle Larson. Enjoy your moment. Oh, we love you, Kissinger Oyer. Kirsten Terwilliger. Ariana C. Pierman. Spencer Notario. Catherine Crystal Alvarado. Joshua Harrington. Justin Asen. Brett Kill 
Bromberg. Robert Ruja. Ratika Prasad. Sean Lull. Kabas Eldafai. Joshua Barch. Francesca Kylie Halkin. Kareem Townsend. Son Kim. AJ George. Jaden Bell. Lucas Henderson. Caleb Henderson. Grace Wilson. Taylor Savon Avery. Sin Sian Nem Hamza Hajir Alyssa Powers Crystal Lee. Robert Blinn. Rogelio Junior Oliveira Perez. Nicholas Silva. JJ Hogan. Alan Brayflat. Anthony Cabacong. Darrell Palaita.
Bryson Keller. Donovan Inahosa. Jada Baldwin. Brianna Mays. Jessica Reyes Jimenez. Casey Kinzerski. Jarrett Hannes. Brittany Aguilar Estrella. Kevin Lockhart. <laughs> Bianca Guzman Salgado. Daisha Thompson. Riker Hurlbert. <laughs> Mulkey Hired. <laughs> Bavindeep Najar. Samuel Jerome. Paige Yandel. Matthew Colston. Caleb Ortiz. Cody Atchison. KU Trung. Chase Allen. Christy Bowie. The Andrew Hayward. <laughs> Betsinat Eob. Richard Muniri. Zach Jenkins. Kamiko Pounds. Mukhtar Osman. Kit Tran. Fat Ta.
Mason Satina. Joseph Dabbling. Elizabeth Zippy Ruckman. Kaylee Portillo Munoz. Lauren Ramey. Shaylee Portillo Munoz. Cameron Tamura. <laughs> Ashley Simon. <laughs> Alexandria Lim. Samantha Munoz Reyes. Haley Ingram. <laughs> Bethany Darlene Cedillo. Joseph Farkas. William Dimitri. William Hardy. Ramnit Carr. Ife Olua Daniel Ogabi. Thomas Schumet. Teganet Schumet. Jack Lyons. <laughs> William Lazar. Vladimir Konoplev. Plum Kemp. Ramadi Javier. Joe 
Mavlud Murtazayev. Tristan Buneman. <laughs> Jason Dean Javier. Nicole Edwards. Francesca Delagula Com Cole Darrow Haven Sanderson Chinberg Alexis Luciani Amy Gay Kennedy Lancaster Diego Tellez Isabella Romo. Christian Ramon Torres. Anisa Ibrahim. Matthew McClure. Mina Nasir. Alex Lara. James Boy. Declan Long. Madison Gonzer Campbell. Ashley Levitin. Marta Hurtado. Van Clarence Caberte. Trevor Bergman.
Fatumata M. Kone. Colby Dreisbach. Mason Kent. Anderson Andy Sailor Alvarado Ortiz. Amber Olson. Hunter Mace. Nathan Hattori. Elijah Edmondson. Christopher Hardy. Sabrina Garcia. Liliana Reyes. Wesley Rowland. Dahlia Akram. Kai David Neidlinger. Dusha Mukhtar. <laughs> Nevea Monato. Ariana Carolina Soto Aranda. <laughs> Layla Love. Lily Filmley. <laughs> Cooper Urbis. <laughs> Timothy Caldwell. <laughs> Alasia Ward. Hoffman. Ian Kelts. Kira Soriano. Finley Sargent <laughs> Joanna McKay Gavin Riffle. Sephora Johannes. Ryan Stringham.
Carter Tressler. Michael Valdez. Michael Smith. Jose Vega. Brian Johnson. Marina Pan. <laughs> Anthony Hauk. <laughs> Jayla Rages. <laughs> Roxy Salvador Fernandez. Omar Salvador Fernandez. Emily Norman. Clarinelli Salgado Montez de Oca. Ariana Gonzalez. <laughs> Jaspreet Singh. Jai De La Cruz. Yeah. Rachel Hannah Gozum. Brandon Weiser. Trinity Gregory. Mario Poole Jr. Austin McPherson. Sahar Sadat. Ali Abdurazak. Nastarin Zaman. Leon Bird Vieira. Madison Lyon. Lucas Radke. Mimi Martin. Braden Charlesworth. Jana Kosianitz. Marwa Al Damdawi. Karnraj Singh. 
Lilia Nikituk. Olivia Wansittler. Haria Wahidi. Nelson Moreno Mercado. Elnara Uzairova. Yeah. Isaiah Manaya. Huh? Caitlin Powers. Andrew Wu. <laughs> Jose Ramos Funes. <laughs> Anna Rosales. Tassel. Ryan Sullivan. <laughs> Michael St. John. Chad Forzek. Jackson Rogers. All right, Falcon family, it's time to turn this ceremony into a celebration. Our final senior for the class of 2022 is Colin Pritchard!
2022. We finally have graduated. It is time to turn our tassels over. Everyone move it to the other side. We did it. Woo! 